Hello, we are Ben and Rebecca, and this is our road puppy, Lucy. For the past four and a half years, we've been exploring North America from top to bottom and coast to coast, all while working towards the dream of driving around the world. And you know what? Things are finally falling into place for us. Before shipping across the Atlantic, we need to prepare our camper for the adventure of a lifetime. But what we envision being a two to three week project snowballed into a three month long renovation nightmare upon discovering hidden water damage. We've broken down the project into five videos. The Dometic 12 volt air conditioning installation, replacing a water damaged subfloor, upgrading the toilet to a separate tiny, the renovation process as a whole, and then we'll wrap it up with a video about the mistakes we made so you don't make them yourself. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And we'd also love to get to know you better. So check out the membership program on our YouTube channel. Hello from Belgium. And as our truck is in the belly of a cargo ship crossing the Atlantic, we welcome you to the third and final video in our Extreme Van Makeover series. In video one, our simple, let's paint, stain, and put some new flooring in project morphed into a mushroom-ridden nightmare. In video two, we were really in the trenches of it and trying to crest that hill towards completion. Now in this third video, we are finally, even though it doesn't really feel like it in the moment, on the downhill side of completing the project. Yeah, and a quick disclaimer, this is not necessarily a how-to video, more of a how we did video. We're not experts. Just like you were watching these videos or we watched videos for inspiration and to learn how to do things. So take it all with a grain of salt. And if you do know a, like a better way of doing things, just put it in the comments section below, but also just be nice about it. With the shower pan finished, we were able to move forward in many other ways. Starting with drilling a hole in our new subfloor for the toilet vent. Glued the exterior bathroom wall into place. Plumbed the shower drain with liquid Teflon, a new hose, and dropped the pan into position. Screwed the bathroom walls into their final position. This allowed us to start assembling the bed and running the electrical wires. The new bathroom got some fresh, dimmable LED lighting. Installing the new security grab handle and sealing it up so there were no leaks. And installing the new shower fixture. Okay, it's the moment of truth. The shower fixture is all hooked up and the system is ready to be pressurized. There are probably 25 new places for leakage but i think i did it a good job it's just the pressure's on the more and more this project goes on it's getting more and more critical that things i did four five six steps ago actually work and fall into place ready Okay, like our friends across the pond say, touch wood. First inspection is favorable. Water leakage is kind of what got us into this whole mess in the first place. So I am going to do everything I can to ensure that there are no new water leaks and it's really dirty and dusty right here, and I didn't like that, but for the sake of uh, leak tracking, it does kind of help, because if there's water going out, we'd know it. Okay, there's a little bit of a uh, louder noise from the water pump, but that is kind of normal when the system gets completely drained. It takes a bit for it to burp all of the uh, air pockets out, but oh my goodness, all of these potential places for leaks. 
I'll be damned if you don't get a little nervous or anxious with all the work that's gone into it. All right, not a full blown victory dance, but the system is pressurized right now and I don't hear the water bump going brr, brr, brr. And yeah, also I don't see any leaks from the fittings. And that is amazing news. We can progress forward. I think I did it, babe. <laughs> I think I did. We're on a roll now and hooked up a switch for the toilet fan. Finished assembling the bed platform. Put the underbed storage back together. Installed the bathroom window. Hooked up the oxygenic shower head. Installed the wall behind the bathroom. Hung the cabinet above the bed. And wired in a reading light above the bed. time to open up this mattress. Uh, this camper, and I'm just calling it this camper because we have a very old mattress at our house in Alaska and it doesn't have problems, but this camper is very hard on mattresses. And I say that because there's always, oops, we step on the stool, we get up here and our knees mash down this area. It's just like a high traffic, carpet area in your house and we use it day and night yeah and every time we get in and out and or get our clothes it's just the design it's an east-west bed there's a platform so we tend to go through mattresses all right ready i'm ready oh look at it go already i know <laughs> i need to get through here. I don't want to get the mattress dirty with my knee pads. The best 10 bucks spent on this whole damn project. Looks like a different room back there. It is a different room. <laughs> As if you it's hadn't awesome. already had a workout oh. today. I know. Hey, you want a workout? You try making this bed. <laughs> Woo. It's all that you have is... to do for the day you make the oh, bed. Oh man. It's your whole exercise routine. Uh, Hope it flattens out in the corners. Uh, I'm done. You gonna leave the trash all over the floor? No, it's going into recycling. <laughs> so you're finished for the day. Yes. Well, this is a great time to say thank you. We would not be sitting here in Belgium waiting for our truck to cross the Atlantic without the help of family and friends. Yeah, the moms both contributed uh, with some going away gifts that resulted in large components of the project. Ben's friend Russell, man, without all of his tools, we couldn't have done this, literally couldn't have done it. And then your dad, who agreed to two to three weeks in her driveway so we can do our renovation, let us stay at his house for over three months while we completed this project. Yep. You guys <laughs> are the best. We love you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Now it's time to install the separate tiny toilet. And like we said, there's a whole video about it on our channel. This is just a little preview. Now it's time to caulk the bathroom. This was definitely challenging being a big guy working in tight quarters, but I got the job done. And since caulking was a problem in our previous bathroom construction, we opted to use something a little stronger, 3M4200. Uh, it's a marine grade sealant. And I'm pretty confident that this is not gonna leak for a very, very long time. It may not be a professional job, but I did get the job done. We also installed a Gorilla Line clothesline in the bathroom to make an easy place for hanging up wet towels and bathing suits. Next up was installing the ceiling lights above the dinette and all of the trim that Rebecca had stained. 
This was also the point when we routed the wires for the air conditioner down into our electrical bay. Since we have a brand new tabletop, we opted to do the Lagoon table mount. Installation was actually very easy. We made sure to secure it in to the steel frame of the truck for added strength and stability. Then for the mounting plate for the table, we drilled pilot holes and screwed it on. But we made sure to use screws that were not so long that they would protrude out the top side of our table. Great progress has been made, and now it's just time for a few finishing touches. We installed a fan to push the air-conditioned air to the back of the camper and a microphone mount for our voiceover recordings. Then we rehung the swivel mount and television for our movie theater. Leak tested the caulking in the shower. Hooked up the wiring and switches for the hallway wall and reinstalled the coat rack. Constructed a wall storage unit for the forward wall of the camper. Since there was a nice selection of wood remnants and leftover stain, we only had to buy more screws. We anchored trim boards in the steel frame of the camper for a solid mounting surface. Then, since it will be used as a charging station, I wired in some USB ports. And it turned out pretty damn nice, if I say so myself. The missing link for the kitchen countertop was the freezer lid. It took a little finessing to get the handle to fit. We finished it off with some fresh weather stripping and it was done. Some split wire conduit was a finishing touch for the solar wires coming out of the ceiling. Since they worked well, we reused the cabinet latches in the bedroom. The only thing left to do was to move back into the camper and clean up our mess. Well, good morning. We have moved back into the van. It's a big step and a big day in a couple ways because we are going to be finally hitting the road today. Lucy's squeaking back there because she wants back up on the bed, but I'm pretty confident we have another surprise for us. Well, it's not a surprise. We know it's coming, but something awesome that really means a lot. We have been making YouTube videos for a very long time, coming up on six years. Oh gosh, this, I was kind of hoping to wake up to it. 99,996 subscribers. This is anticlimactic. I haven't looked at my phone yet. I was hoping like, hey, this will be cool. Let's wake up to 100K and turn the camera on. Well, oh. It's coming. We can't stop it if we want it to. Lucy? Lucy, are you going to help us get to a million subscribers with the cuteness? You have been... Oh, there we go. Hola, mija. Give me the other one. Hola. You're such a sweet little puppy. You've been really good during this whole process. Before hitting the road, we have a few little things left to do. Since we now have a 12 volt air conditioner, the solar panels probably need to be cleaned a little more often. In case things need touching up, we wanted to save a little bit of paint and stain. And after an all consuming summer, Harry Man needed some manscaping. Thank you. Thank you. See what I gotta put up with. I think we're ready to finally, after three months, get back on the road. And hopefully, if everything stays the way it's supposed to, we can take a big leap in our journey here in the next few weeks. Okay, last thing, fill up the water tank. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Bye. All right, love you, Dad. Love you. Bye. Well, it's time for us to get back on the road. And funny story, we failed to get video footage of the finished product. And since our truck's sitting in the belly of a cargo ship crossing the Atlantic, we can't quite get it at this time. 
these pictures really do not do the final product justice, but it's the best we can do until a future video. In the meantime, safe travels and we'll see you on the road.